Alright guys, so I've seen a few people commenting on Facebook and on YouTube over the last couple of days about having recently purchased printers etc and not knowing how to do designs um, or asking other people to modify stuff for them because they don't have access to a design package. Well, Fusion 360, if you're using it, the non-commercial version, which is what I have here, it's just for personal use, it's free. Um, so there's no real excuse for not being able to design stuff apart from your own ability. Anything that I'm going to show you in this is stuff I've learned myself over the last year, year and a half. So there probably are better or quicker ways of doing it. I didn't do a course or anything on this. So it's just my own basic learnings is all I'm going to show you. Um, I might start off by doing something very simple here today and bring it from a design here on Fusion to your bamboo slicer, or it could be whatever slicer you want to use, but in my case, I'll be using the bamboo slicer, and then slice the model and export it to the 3D printer to show the process that you can go literally from design here in Fusion to a finished product in less than maybe 10 minutes. So for this particular example, I'm just gonna create a rubber washer for a tap. Can't get much simpler than that. and it's something you may want to make someday and um, in future models I plan to make stuff that's a little bit more complex but just to get people started or see if there's any interest in even doing this this may fall flat on its face um, but if, if there's interest I'll continue doing it and I'll do different designs and if you have something you'd like to see made drop it in the comments and I will give it a try I'm not saying I'll be able to do it but I'll give it a try anyway Um, so to start this cube here catch it drag it and it'll show your model on the screen from the different angles or orientations hit the little house here it'll bring it up back to the same location each time so it's an almost diagonal view looking down onto it to create the model you go up here to create sketch on the top left hand corner select that and we want to be doing it our design on this plane here which is looking down on the top so if we click it, you'll see this cube in the top right hand corner it should rotate around to show us the top version, which it has. So all along here, the different tools you're going to use is the line tool, the rectangle tool, a circle, curved line, a mirror, a sketch dimension, fillet, trim, offset, blend, curve, etc. Most of these I won't be showing you, but well, on this model anyway, but on future ones, we may look into it. So in this case here, it's a rubber washer we're going to be designing and we click on the circle tool, draw it in, we want it to be a 20 mil rubber washer, hit enter and it'll create a circle. And if we catch the cube, you can pull it around, you can see it has no depth to it, it's literally just a flat circle. If we left click on the circle, we can then right click and extrude. Extrude allows you to pull the object up down whatever you want so in this case we can catch it and just pull it up and down to make a cylinder so we want this to be let's say six mil thick so it's 20 mil across and six mil thick and that's your basic washer we want to add a hole to it so go up here to the top left hand corner again and click on the hole icon click on it and click on the top here so that we're looking down again and we want the hole to be right smack in the center so click on the center point as you can see it's not 100% in the center there so if you scroll into it you'll see how much it's off by once you move the mouse over the center of the cross here it turns into a hand left click and you can drag the whole thing up and it'll hop into where it should be let it go it's snapped to the center point all right so that holds too big for a screw obviously for a tap so we want over here on the right hand side you can see this bottom measurement here says nine millimeters so that's the width of the hole so in our case we want that to be about five mil this measurement here is the depth of the hole so if we had that as we'll say one millimeter you'll see it doesn't go down far enough into it you can see there it's only going down a millimeter into it you can see the whole type you see it's got a point to the bottom but you can change that here to, to have been flat so it's one mil the whole way across rather than a pointed surface if you wanted it to be a center bore to hide the screw you can change that here as well by clicking on this Sorry, counter bore, not center bore. Select this and you can change the width here of this counter bore itself. So if you knew the head of the screw was, we say eight mil across, hit eight mil, it'll give you 
enough space for the for the head of the screw. Um, the depth of the head of the screw then, if we know the depth of the head of the screw is three mil. So we now have an eight mil wide hole that's three mil thick, and we want the hole itself to go down six mil because it's a six mil piece of rubber. And if we hit OK, you will see that we now have a rubber washer, well, what will be a rubber washer, with a counter bore here to hide the screw. Now, if you don't want to hide the screw, you can hit Control Z on your laptop or Command Z if it's a MacBook. Go back out of it and we just go with a plain ordinary hole, select the hole, again, bring it to the center point, make sure it's snapped to the center, and in this case it has. We want to just go plain ordinary hole. We want it to be five mil thick, five mil across, and six mil in depth. So if we move the cube here, you can see from both sides it has gone the whole way through. Click OK, and that's it complete. Very simple little washer. All right. So what we want to do then is go up here to File and Export, and we'll change this to rubber washer. Call it test. I want to change the type here to being a step file. Step files don't need translation. Um, if you change it to an STL, they do, which takes a few minutes. So I use step, it's nice and easy. Click export, and it's now gone immediately into my download folder, I'd say. So if I go back now and go to Bamboo Studio, open Bamboo Studio, this is the view you're going to get on Bamboo Studio when you open it first. Up here gives you the option for the printer type. In my case, I have multiples here to choose from. So this one, I'm going to be using the P1S in 0.4 mm nozzles, so select that. Discard the settings from the previous one. I have my filament type here at the minute. I'm just going to delete four, three of those because I'm on the printer that only has one roll at the moment. Um, so select your filament type because it's a rubber washer, we want it to be from TPU. So I've set already selected ge generic TPU it's in here. So that's okay. The depth of the layers, we're going with uh, 0.2 millimeter. It doesn't need to be anything fancy. Again, it's on your rubber washer. It doesn't have to be fancy. Um, because we want the rubber washer to have a good seal and we change the textured PEI plate to being a smooth plate. You'll see why in a moment. Um, Click on this one here for quality. There's not an awful lot we need to change in here for this. If anything, maybe wall generator change that to arachne. You don't have to, but I prefer arachne. Um, so we're going up here, I'm going to import our object, which is this one here, rubber washer. And you can see it has appeared on the print bed. If we slice it without doing any more changes, you'll see it's saying it's going to take six minutes to print and six minutes to prepare on the printer but 12 minutes total if we pull this bar down here on the right hand side you'll see how the inside of this is going to look so it has two walls you can see the orange and the yellow and over here on the left you see wall loops is two so that makes sense if you want this to be strong or extra strong you can increase the number of loops so we say six in this case and hit slice see it's a much thicker wall uh, our top and bottom shell layers you can change that as well um, in this case because it's going to be an actual rubber seal I want it to be completely solid so I'm going down here to the infill density this is these red lines in here I need to hide that for a second these red lines are your infill and depending on the infill type so if we change this to gyroid and slice it again you'll see it has a different pattern inside um, I want this to be rectilinear just that one there and I want it to be completely solid because it's a rubber seal and I don't want it to squish under pressure so hit enter on that and slice again and you should see now it is solid the whole way through so I'm happy with that I don't want a brim or anything on it because it's just impossible well not impossible to move remove but it's more difficult to remove off it because it's rubber um, so we're pretty happy with that, six minutes to print. Just going to go over here to print plate. 
and here you can see I can choose from the different printers at the minute. I only have one of them turned on, so it's only printer one showing up. And select it and hit send, and it'll send it straight to the printer. And we shall carry on from there in a second. So I've hit send on Bamboo Slicer and it's currently preparing the printer. You can see it's purging the filament at the back into this chute and it should start in a few moments. So there's the final washer, it's pretty smooth on top, there's the side that the nozzle ended on, it's also pretty smooth but it's got some ridges on it, so this here will provide a reasonably good seal and it's reasonably flexible. So there you go.